Real Estate Coaching Radio, starring award-winning real estate coaches and number one international best-selling authors, Tim and Julie Harris. Real Estate Coaching Radio is the nation's number one daily radio show for realtors who demand authentic, real-time coaching. Get ready for fluff-free, unfiltered, full-strength honesty about what's truly working to get you into action, helping others, and making money now in today's real estate market. Now to our hosts, Tim and Julie Harris. Hey, well, welcome, welcome back. Little technical glitch that was unfortunately caused I can hear by. You. You're mom- good. I know a little technical glitch that was caused by me. I can't like to you know blame the technology, but it was me. I was just being an idiot, hit the wrong button. Hey, it happens. So we're going to be talking today um, at the request on a topic at the request of many of you about your perfect daily schedule. Um, and the perfect daily schedule is going to be something that is going to be our version of it. It's going to be simple, easy to understand, tactical, and practical. So when we're going through the perfect daily schedule, I want you guys to write these things down and then um, have a fresh mental approach to the information we're going to be sharing with you. So many of you are not getting enough out of your days uh, for the effort you're putting in. In other words, you're working too hard. I see that continuously when we talk with all of you, when you guys email us and, you know, sometimes I see it, the real issue really is a scheduling issue. It's a, a getting things done issue. And then you ask, or I ask, what is it that you're doing during the day? And I'll maybe ask you to send me, you know, keep a log of what you do the following day. And then you email it to me. And the one I see is lots of short spurts of erratic uh, energy towards just sort of convoluted things. <laughs> you know, there's no connection between one thing and the other. And what happens is when you basically operate like that and you don't have specific time carved out to do specific activities, well, don't you guys already know what I'm saying here is true, that you're not going to get anything done or you're not going to get anything done completely. The idea of starting and stopping and starting and stopping the same task means that same task is never going to get done at the same level. So what we're going to be sharing with you today is what we call your perfect daily schedule. But before we get to point numero uno, I believe Julie has some folks that she'd like to acknowledge from the private Facebook page. Julie Harris? Yeah, you got it. So one of my favorite premier coaching clients, why? Because she always shows up to the call and she always has fantastic questions. Her questions come from being out in the field doing deals, not questions about getting ready to get started to someday take action. Miss Nakia Lucas-Hill from Atlanta, Georgia, writes on our private Facebook page. She says, so it takes nine months to have a baby. My real estate baby is being born thanks to the consistent coaches at Harris University. I'm a small broker owner in Atlanta that was a part of two bigger franchises before going out on my own, as well as I literally tried the rest of the coaches out there before committing to Tim and Julie. However, nothing makes more sense to me than Tim and Julie Harris Real Estate Coaching. They meet you where you are and help you target where you desire to be. I have big shoes to fill. From January to April, I've earned more money this year than in my past years in the industry. They're simply the best. Please use the treasure map, the survival guide, the 90-day production plan. It really works. Oh, don't forget the PLP and the whiteboards. I had security in being a registered respiratory therapist earning 70000 a year since I was 21 years old. I'm now 35, and I literally had a panic attack thinking about replacing that guaranteed check with a commission check. However, Tim and Julie added a clear view to success in my real estate practice. My new goal is to earn fifteen to 20000 per month. Thanks, guys. Well, thank you, Nakia, for setting the bar high for your colleagues and being a great example. You are out there doing it. And uh, as Melissa Woodson comments about your commentary on Facebook, she says, great testimony. Thanks for sharing it. Congratulations. You're on your way. I've got to pick it up so I can give my testimony soon. I just closed on a listing and have a couple of things in the works, and a few have said they're going to have me help them when they're ready. I'm following up with them. I'm really enjoying the coaching program, too. Stay tuned. More to come. Thank you, Tim and Julie Harris Coaching Team. So thank you guys for sharing your experience. Back to you, Tim. So a couple quick announcements, and then we're going to get to the first point. Um, HarrisVIPMastermind.com. HarrisVIPMastermind.com. Get your tickets for the event we're doing at the end of July here in Austin. So there's that. Um, Also, let me see. What's my next announcement? Uh, We do have, I believe, 16 spots available for free coaching calls yet this week. So just go to FreeCoachingCallsForAgents.com free coaching calls for agents.com. When you uh, schedule your free coaching call, yes, we are still giving away those six free books, including the real estate treasure map, which includes a good bit of information about creating your own schedule. So there's that. 
And the last information, oh, so you guys, a lot of you, we sent out an email. Um, if you're on our list, you received the email. We're looking for new member coaches. Now, here's the thing. A new member coach is a, in our sales team talking with people about enrolling into our coaching programs. I sent out, well, our team sent out an email. We received, I think, well over 100 responses. We're going to um, have a conference call soon. Where we're going to really drill down, make sure everyone's understanding that they're applying to be on our sales team. I suspect based on the resumes that a lot of you guys didn't read the email completely. Um, so we're gonna kind of drill down, help clear the air on that. But if you're interested in working with us in our business as part of our sales team, helping agents enroll into our coaching programs, um, then you might be a perfect uh, you know, person to be a new member coach. We love people who have real estate experience. Um, this is a home-based uh, job. You'd be given leads. You'd be uh, you know, controlling your own schedule, the whole thing. So if you're interested, email me directly, tim at timandjulieharris.com. So um, again, those of you who did uh, submit your resume and complete that little application, we appreciate it. Look for an email soon that's going to invite you to a conference call where we're going to drill down and explain to you exactly what the responsibilities of the job would be. And then that's going to be the next sifting and sorting. And if you're interested in still proceeding with us, then we're going to go to the next level with you. So that's what we're looking for. We're having literally hundreds of people wanting to enroll in our coaching programs every month. And we definitely need help. And that's what a new member coach job is all about. Our top new member coach earns over $20,000 a month. So just putting that into perspective, a lot of you guys would be doing quite well working with us as new member coaches, assuming that you had the right mindset and approach um, and that we wanted to hire you, frankly. So if you're interested, send it, uh, please send an email to tim at timandjulieharris.com. And then in the subject line, put new member coach, new member coach, and I'll invite you to that conference call. We're going to do that probably Monday of next week. All right, Julie. So let's jump right in. Yes. You got it. So we're talking about morning routine and your daily schedule. So we have had other podcasts about reviewing things like your bank accounts, looking at your investments, setting your mindset on a positive trajectory. So now we're talking about the actual business day. So don't skip any of the rules that are laid out in the Harris Rules book. Again, if you don't have that, maybe you're a newer listener, don't know what I'm talking about, go to Amazon.com and just type in Harris Rules book, and you can download the Audible version. You can get the soft copy uh, book, or you can download it to your device. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about when I say Harris Rules, that's what it is. Go check it out. Okay, so here's the secret. It's really important to recognize that your daily schedule should be based on profit, more specifically on the things that you must take action on that lead to that profit. So oftentimes we rattle off this list. It's easy to memorize because it's chronological. That means one thing leads to the next. Lead generation, otherwise known as prospecting and marketing, but generating the lead in the first place. Lead follow-up, pre-qualifying, presenting, negotiating, and closing lather, rinse, repeat. If it's not on that list, why are you doing it? I know it might look like work, especially to an outsider, but if it's not related to that list, I don't know why you're doing it. So get clear that you must lead with profit, and that means you must lead with profit-producing activity. So before we jump into that, I wanted to have a little discussion about the most common profit-killing schedule-wrecking activities of all agents, regardless of the market, experience, or price range. This is based on real world coaching calls guys so what are the profit killing schedule wrecking activities well number one it starts in the morning no morning control of time getting to work when you finally can get to work is not a plan that's what hobbyists do they fit it in when they get to it that's what you do when you're retired okay so no morning control of time that's number one pretty easy secondly getting stuck in the weeds of transaction coordination get a transaction coordinator it's the cost of each uh, it's built into the cost of each transaction it's well worth it to maintain your sanity and buy your time back but that also means you don't get to hide out there anymore so get a transaction coordinator so you can stop complaining about that point number three on our profit killers playing around with social media pretending that it's generating leads for you. Oh, I've got to go post on Facebook and Pinterest, and maybe I'll take the whole morning to do that. We're not saying don't do it at all, but don't make it consume your morning and don't pretend that it's a spoke. It's a support spoke to your other spokes in your wheel, and we'll get to that in a little bit later, but stop playing around with social media all morning long. Point number four, going to appointments that you don't have to go to. 
home inspections, lender lunches, free trainings, oh my, I wrote. If it's not on the dollar productive list of activities, it's not a necessary appointment. You're just hiding out pretending to work. Anything you want to add to the profit killing pretending to work list, Tim? I'm just I'm just appreciating the fact you laughed at what you wrote down. You entertained yourself. That was actually funny. <laughs> but, well, well, but that's look, a lot of coaching calls that got us here. So I know. You know. But let, let just look at this for what it is, though. Really, at the end of the day, guys, and we talk about this frequently on this show because it really is so important. Your morning is really your most important part of the day. It is because there's some physiological reasons. I talked about this the other day, and I received some emails afterwards, so it's worth repeating evidently, is that physiologically your hormones and everything else are in better balance after you've slept. And if you don't have a big carboholic breakfast in the morning, if you've had some form of exercise in the morning, chances are your body is going to stay in high energy mode till at least one o'clock. So when you're working and you're in a heightened mental and physical state, you're going to be working more intensely. You're going to be more effective at what you're doing. You know this is true. And I've got unfortunate news for those of you who are in your 20s and 30s. What I'm telling you even becomes more true the older you get. <laughs> so there's a little insight into what your future is going to be like. Nootropics aside, the reality of it is, is that the older you get, the more important it is that you really, really protect those morning hours because chances are in the afternoon, you do have a pretty noticeable drop off in your motivation. Let's just call it that. So here's the other thing. When you are focused on doing what you don't want to do and you don't want to do at the highest level, which is the lead generation portion of the day, you're going to also be calling people who are also in a heightened state, who are also going to be in better moods, who are also going to have better you know, physical and physiological balances going on at that time. So you're going to be reaching out to people when you feel great. Chances are you're going to be connecting with them when they feel great. Call people in the afternoons if they've had a shitty day or whatever. They're probably going to give you hell for it and not be as receptive to wanting to talk with you, right? Isn't this makes sense? Common sense, practical, tactile. That's what we're all about. Jules? Yes, you got it. So since we now have identified some of these habits and activities that don't actually lead to profit, you are now, from this day forward, not allowed to do them anymore. If this is a challenge, make a deal with your spouse, your kids, or your assistant that every time they catch you doing any of the things that get you off track, they get a crisp $100 bill from you. That'll cure you, especially if it's your kids, especially if you have teenagers. I'm sure they are more than willing to hold you accountable. So if that's not enough, make it $500 until you are clear that you're not being profitable when you choose those schedule wrecking activities over things that are profitable. So let's get back to what you've got to do daily in order to meet or exceed your goals in your five areas of life, which you figure out incidentally with your treasure map. So make sure you've done that. It all starts with generating leads in the first place. Without leads, the rest of the list is meaningless. You might have the most polished listing presentation in the world or the most amazing buyer pre-qualification script, but with no leads, who cares? Doesn't matter. So we have to start with lead generation. You are either running a marketing enhanced prospecting based company, a prospecting based marketing enhanced company. It's one or the other. You might be a referral only company, but that's not sustainable. And some of you, many of you join coaching because you come to that realization that you are a one spoke wonder when you're running just off of referrals. Now, so let's you hover might be there. a prospecting hover. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, sister, uh, let's sure. hover there. That's really important. We do get literally thousands of you who are uh, participating in one of our programs because you've come from training that's been essentially trying to teach you just to be centers of influence and past clients. And I'll, it's obvious why so many people gravitate towards that. Uh, spoke, it's because it's easy, because you're going to be just soliciting people that you, you know, are friends with. And a lot of times the, the things that you do when trying to attract your centers of influence and past clients, it's fun. We have a whole section on Premier Coaching, which is a 12-month plan, essentially just to go after your centers of influence and past clients. So, of course, we have a massive drill down on how to basically build that spoke. It's a critical spoke. You must build that spoke. Probably the first spoke you should build should be that uh, spoke. Uh, I mean, your situation may vary, but for the most part, that's going to be a good, easy first spoke for people to build. Spokes in the wheel. Julie touched on this. Those of you who are new listeners, we had 127,000 of you listen yesterday. So spokes in the wheel, the analogy really quick is basically envision a bicycle spoke or bicycle wheel, lots of spokes on the wheel. The fewer the spokes, the, uh, the wheel actually loses its structural integrity. Many of you are rolling down the road 
with your bicycle wheel with one spoke, centers of influence and past clients. That's one spoke. That wheel hits a pebble in the road. What happens to that wheel? Because it's not strong enough, it collapses. That's the reason we want you to have at least seven spokes on your wheel. The first spokes you put on have to be the ones that are gonna be proactive lead generation because then you're never dependent on somebody else to buy your business. Again, guys, practical and tactical. Doesn't this just feel intuitively smart what we're telling you? I know it does. So don't build your business around, you know, stuff like social networking. Don't build your business around online lead generation. Build your business around stuff that's going to require skills that you can control yourself. Build your business that's around things that are going to make it so every single day you can control your out output, you can control your outcome versus somebody else controlling that. When you are dependent on buying leads, you're not ultimately in control of the results you get every day. When you know how to proactively go after your own business, which is what we teach you to do, of course you can control your output. You, we have droves of coaching clients who basically don't consider it a day well spent unless they set one pre-qualified listing appointment. Yeah, that's their business, that's what they do. And they do it virtually every single day. That's what Premier Coaching is all about. That's where we want you guys to get because once you're there, you're free. So the bottom line is, is when you are trying to decide where to put your best energies, make sure you always put your best energies towards the things that are going to get you the, the results the quickest. So the first spoke you put on the wheel, centers of influence and past clients. If you're new to some town and you don't know a bunch of people, not the best first spoke for you. But don't stop there because you're only going to get so much from that centers of influence and past clients spoke. It will eventually dry out. It won't work. You'll get to the point where, and this is what so many of you experience, you get to the point where you have uh, the same level of income, the same production, the same everything. Nothing is expanding. Your business is leveled off. And I have to tell you guys, if you have a business that's leveling off, it's going to decline. It's going to fall. So you need to be adding new spokes. Don't lose the last one, but don't waste any more time and energy trying to basically get something to work that doesn't really, that can't really do any better than it already is. Julie? That's right. And if your lead generation challenged, Right, So this is confusing to you. You're not sure where business comes from. You're just really coming to terms with the spokes in the wheel model. And this is still a challenge. Refer to the survival guide if you're a premier coaching member. We've got lots of lead generation items in the treasure map, the 90-day massive action plan. And of course, it is a major part of our premier coaching program. Remember to focus. Follow one course until it's successful. So don't do the 90-day massive action plan for nine days and give up and say, well, it doesn't work. You only did 10% of the plan. So focus. Follow one course until successful. So that leads us to our recommended ideal schedule. Now, ideal means that you follow it four out of five working days. Okay? We're keeping it realistic. So, you know, every week that you're not on vacation, keeping it real. So let's say 6.30 in the morning, awake. Powerful affirmations, 20 to 30 minutes, simple workout, eight ounces of water, and review your goals for the day. It's a good time to look at your bank account, to look at your schedule, just get focused. Why eight ounces of water when you wake up? Remember that many people think that they are exhausted or depressed or too tired to take on the day when in fact you are simply dehydrated. This is a simple life hack to get you ready to rumble for the day. So, Secret, no day should take should have more than five specific, specific, specific attainable and achievable goals. Three is better on most days, so things like resolve a home inspection remedy that you're dragging out, get listing docs back from the seller, get a contract signed, obviously sign, you know, set a listing appointment, follow up on 100% of your leads. These are simple, achievable goals that you can do daily. All right, so now you're focused, 7 o'clock in the morning. You're going to do a 30-minute financial review. Are you trending up or down versus your financial goals? Are you on track, ahead, or behind? By how much? Take a look at your whiteboards and your vital signs report. What's your appointment schedule look like? What appointments have, have you got to set today? What appointments are you going on today? One of the goals that I have for my private coaching clients, almost all of them, the ones that are not, say, semi-retired or something of that nature, the, the real butt kickers, is to set one and go on one, meaning listing appointment, every work day. Set one, go on one. Ideally, they're taking it. If you're, you shouldn't be going on it if it's not pre-qualified and motivated. And then it's lather, rinse, repeat. And as you mentioned earlier on the call, Tim, that is absolutely achievable. If you really want to drill down after you've got your skills together, you've got your pre-listing package going, you know how to do your listing presentation, objection handle and close, well, really you got no excuse but to set one and go on one lather, rinse, repeat. Now, at this point in the day, 
you are in 100% control of your mind, body, and wallet, assuming that you're following a media-free morning and you have not turned on CNN or something in the background. You're still in control. So 7 to 8 a.m., prepare for your day. Breakfast, shower, dress. When in doubt, dress for success. Always be dressed one level nicer than your prospect or client. Obviously, this varies from market to market. If you're in a beach town, you might be more casual. If you're you know, in the upper Midwest and it's still snowing, you have a different outfit choice. But always default to looking one level nicer than your prospect or client. And if you're not meeting with anyone today, you still have to go out the door dressed for success. Don't put yourself in a situation that you're not talking about real estate simply because you're at the grocery store in your jammies. I don't know who made it okay to like walk out the door wearing pajama bottoms. I've seen that like five or six times in the past two weeks. It's not okay. <laughs> so just a sideline. All right. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did, did, didn't we let Zoe yeah. wear her pajamas all day the other day? <laughs> well, that's different. She's four yeah. and she had a cold. She's four. Oh, Unless you're four okay. and you have a cold. <laughs> it is not considered business attire. And I don't care if you're in the most casual market in the world. You have to look like someone that Bex would want to do business with. Okay. And there's going to be a whole section, by the way, in the updated Harris Rules book about this. So stay tuned for some more fun with that. Okay. 8 a.m. Take 20 minutes to 20 minutes. That's it. Set a timer. Clear out any mission control, mission critical email, voicemail, text, etc. Just 20 minutes. Delete all the trash, the spam. Delegate anything you can to your transaction coordinator, your personal assistant, etc. If you don't have a transaction coordinator or assistant, you are them. So prioritize by urgency and set a plan in place. 8.30 to 9.30 a.m., relentless lead follow-up with intent to set appointment. This is not just, oh, I'm going to go talk to my leads. No, it's relentless lead follow-up with intent to actually set an appointment. This should be called appointment setting hour, your hour of power. Since you're most likely to set an appointment with this category of prospects, it's valuable to pursue them first thing in your day. You already have their phone numbers, so you can't complain about that. They're expecting your call and you have what they want. Remember to pre-qualify all listing and buyer leads prior to setting that appointment. Do not skip this step. You should never ever end the day or even really end the morning with leads you've not followed up on. And of course, use our proven lead follow-up scripts. 9.30 a.m., you may have already set an appointment by now. More lead follow-up if you have more leads to follow up on. If not, it's time for lead generation. Choose your most likely to list spokes first. This means, for most of you, because remember, we've already done your lead follow-up, unrepresented sellers, expireds, probate, maybe open house leads, depends on what your spokes are. But it makes sense to speak with people who need what it is you do. Now, remember, if you've generated enough leads to follow up on, you're going to do that first. So now we're going to get to 1030 in the morning. You've already been really productive. Some of you at this point, when you do everything I've rattled off, will already have a more productive day than normal. But we're still only at 1030. Call your required past client center of influence list. So how do you know how many of them you're supposed to call? And, and Tim, you and I have done many events where our most grizzled veteran top producers, when asked, what's the number one thing you would have changed looking back? They almost always say, I would have been better calling my past clients, my center of influence, and my database. I would have been better at it sooner and more consistent. So 10.30 a.m., call that list. How do you know how many to call? Well, you take the total number of people on your database, divide by 20 working days, 40 working days or 60, that means you're going to call the whole list every 30, 60, or 90 days to determine how many you've got to call daily. That way you can be very super consistent. So an example, let's say you've got 100 people in your database. You divide it by 20 working days because there's 20 working days for every 30-day month. You have to speak with five people per day. When you do that, you'll actually touch your entire list every 30 days. What would your business look like then if you just took that spoke more seriously? Anything you want to hover on there, Tim? I'm getting ready for premiere in a few minutes here. No, I mean, really what we're talking about, though, at the end of the day is basically the understanding that the universe rewards hustle, right? The universe rewards those yeah. of us who are going to be furiously fast every single day to get the things done that matter every single day. And you can expand on what Julie's saying in your minds and ask yourself, and we've done a lot of shows on this, 
you know, what about your lead follow-up? What part of your lead follow-up is something else that is going to be needing a, an, a complete overhaul to become furiously fast? But really what we want you to truly understand is when you're going to start your day, when you're going to have a schedule, it's not what we're asking you to add to your day because really what we want you to do is take things away. What we're asking you to do is stop doing some of the things that you're doing now, a lot of things you're doing now, that are actually no, doing nothing but uh, about moving you towards your goal. And in the morning, you have to stop tuning into media. It is toxic. Literally give yourself a break. Your alarm clock goes off. Do not turn your phone on. Do not turn any digital device on. Do not start allowing Facebook to fill your head with whatever they're trying. You guys know by now that a lot of that stuff is just propaganda, political propaganda, social propaganda. It's just bullshit that's designed to basically force you to think in a way that the person who wrote the whatever is trying to get you to think. And that maybe has nothing to do whatsoever with the quality of your life because they're trying to push their own agenda. You know this, don't you? Why do you do it? Why don't you just decide to say not just no, but hell no to media. Go media free. We do. We don't listen to anything. Well, podcasts and books, that's about it. I can't even tell you the last time we watched CNN, Fox, or any of the other garbage channels. We don't watch any of them. They're just a bunch of propaganda. It has nothing to do with nothing. At the end of the day, our job, our mission, your mission, your job, is to be of service to other people at the highest level. And when you do that at a high enough frequency, pretty much everything else works out. If you don't have the lifestyle you want, the money you want, the car you want, the house you want, the health you want, the whatever, whatever, it's because you have yet to formulate the thought pattern in your head that the quality of my life is directly dependent on how I help improve the quality of other people's lives. If you do a really great job for three or four people every year, well, you're going to have a lifestyle that's commensurate with doing a really great job with three or four people every year. Why don't you think bigger? Why don't you think in terms of doing, doing a really great job for dozens of people, then maybe a hundred people, then hundreds of people. That's when the world changes for you. But it starts with the realization and the acceptance that the highest and truest purpose of all of us on this planet is to be of service to other people. And everything that you want in life follows that feeling of self-worth, uh, experience, confidence, really quality of life. Really, overall, there's nothing that doesn't improve when you live by the personal mantra of, and the understanding that your highest and truest purpose is to be of service to other people. To be of service to other people on a level that they'll want to do business with you, you're going to have to be good. And not just a little good now and then. You're going to have to be great. And that greatness manifests itself during the morning, during your morning schedule. So please take this seriously. I have a feeling Julie's going to talk with this, uh, about this more tomorrow on the show. The notes for today's show, like every show, are posted at timandjulieharris.com. Premier coaching members, um, remember that if you want to discuss moving, upgrading to having a private coach, if you're just in Premier Coaching now, if you'd like to discuss having a private coach, we do have Premier Plus and Premier VIP. So always feel free to reach out um, and ask questions about that if you're ready to take the next step. For the rest of you, we appreciate you guys making this the number one listen to podcast, daily podcast for agents. We're con consistently in the top, I don't even know what, 3% of iTunes. It's pretty incredible that there's so many people out there. This is what really amazes me about the success of this podcast, let alone the fact that the book became international bestseller, is there's so many people out there that obviously are frustrated with all the Mickey Mouse that's being told to realtors. I often, let me rephrase that, sold to realtors, the passive marketing, the easy buttons, the done for you this and the social networking that, you guys are waking up to the fact that really at the end of the day, that stuff is just a bunch of gimmicks that's designed to mask the fact that the real success comes on the other side of doing what you don't want to do when you don't want to do it at the highest level. And for many of you, that's learning how to sell. For many of you, that's learning how to accept the fact you're a salesperson and then learning how to sell. So listen, guys, we love doing this podcast. Any suggestions you have for us for topics, people we should interview. I do get lots of emails. If you're an investor or if you're you know, a finance person or if you're something like that, not a good fit to the podcast. But for the rest of you, feel free to email us directly, Tim at timandjulieharris.com. And I'll pass your information along to our show producer. And then he'll talk with you. And if he thinks you're a good fit, he'll book you. In the meantime, if you guys need us for anything, it's Tim at TimAndJulieHarris.com or Julie at TimAndJulieHarris.com. You guys have a fantastic day. We'll talk with you on the show tomorrow. This program has been a presentation by Tim and Julie Harris Real Estate Coaching. For more information on our real estate coaching and training programs, 
visit our website at timandjulieharris.com. Remember to tune in weekdays at noon for upcoming shows. And until next time, thank you for listening to Real Estate Coaching Radio with Tim and Julie Harris. Thank you.